Mr. Sebe, I want to talk to you about the, the your conversation, your negotiation with the federal government. Any update on that? And what what, what are what are your your requests? Okay. Uh, on the issue of negotiations, you know, the we are not really very keen on uh, a fresh round of negotiations on our demands. Mm. Uh, and uh, you know, when you have an agreement on the table, um, what we trigger a renegotiation of the terms as already agreed is probably when any of the parties uh, signifies an intention to renegotiate maybe on the grounds that uh, conditions are no longer favorable for the attainment of the already agreed positions right now as we speak that that is not the case we have a memorandum of action we signed with the government in april last year leading to the suspension of uh, of a strike action last year that lasted for 61 days. It was suspended for a period of three months, effective 10th of June. The three-month suspension period was as agreed in that memorandum of action, and it is to enable the government to, to create an enabling environment for the government to fulfill aspects of the agreement that uh, requires some processes to be put in motion. Now, our conviction with it for putting for agreeing to the three months period is that three months is uh, ample time, is enough time to fulfill those processes. Now, for instance, in June, we were, an approval was conveyed to us for the release of 15 billion naira revitalization fund okay. by Mr. President, okay. which was one of our demands. Now, the approval was uh, shown to us in June mm-hmm. as we suspended the strike. And so we had expected that within a three-month period, the processes leading to the release of these funds <coughs> would have been completed. Mm. And that three months is more than enough time to, to, you know, to execute that. Mm. We had expected that three months was ample time for the government to pay minimum wage areas to our members owed for 10 months across different federal polytechnics since 2019. Mm-hmm. We believe that three months was ample time to enable our regulatory body to uh, overhaul our nomat- the normative instruments for institution management and programs accreditation across all polytechnics, federal, state, and private right. in the nation. Because that issue speaks to the issue of standards. Mm. It speaks to issues around non-payment of staff salaries in different polytechnics mm. owned by different state governments. It speaks to uh, lack of infrastructure in different state polytechnics. It speaks to lack of appropriate governance structures and arbitrariness in the management of uh, you know of a lot of the state-owned uh, polytechnics right. because uh, we believe that uh, if we want to operate polytechnics, then the standards have to be the same mm. across the nation. Right. Uh, there is nothing called uh, ordinary state diploma; they, they are all national diplomas, and regulation is by the nation, you know, by a national agency. Mm. And so we felt that three months was ample time to get this over the line. We felt that three months was also ample time to have a scheme of service for our conditions of service. Uh, you know, governing, uh, you know, the sector that uh, does uh, duty prescription and career progression requirements for the sector, which has been undergoing reviews since 2017. Right. Uh, three months was ample time for this also to be to, to be actualized, amongst mm-hmm. others. And so we gave that three months period. Now, the three months period expired on 10th of September 2021. Okay. As at that time, none of these items had been concluded. We stayed on discussing with the government, mm. receiving only appeals. Okay. We have met since then, since the suspension of the strike till the commencement, till the decision to commence the strike, we had met with the government mm. four times. And in all of these four meetings, the government never disclosed or said that they can no longer meet up with the terms. Right. They were only making appeals. And of course, they have already run out of excuses. Mm. Even those making the appeals, they are tired of making the appeals. Mm. And we don't need these appeals. What we don't need the appeals. What we need is for the is for the commitment to be seen that this work, this, uh, these items as I agreed, are executed because they are for the good of the nation. Right. They are for the good of our students. They are for the good of their parents. They are for the good of society. They are good. They are for the good of the economy of this nation. Hmm. Uh, and so, we are, we are, there is nothing for you know, renegotiation. It's not going to pay us any any dividends. Going to be talking wasting 
money is traveling up and down. Uh, Asup is currently on strike for warning strike for two weeks. Uh, w- what then happens after two weeks? Yes, after the two weeks period, the appropriate the organ of the union that is responsible, that is the National Executive Council, yeah. will meet. Okay. We, are, we we have a meeting in June. Mm-hmm. Uh, our, our statutory meeting, 103rd session of our of our National Executive Council, will be coming up in the month of June. When we meet, we will review what has happened within these two weeks because the two weeks warning strike is a protest. Mm-hmm. It's to draw the attention of the Nigerian public because a lot of these it's already sounding like a scam. You know, you make a promise, you come out to the public, you say, look, uh, government has uh, has uh, approved this. Mr. President has approved at every single forum. They, Officials of the Federal Ministry of Education will gleefully announce to the world yeah. that Mr. President has approved this. Mm. Where is the fund? Since June last year, it is beginning to sound like a scam. Mm. The more you announce it, the more it sounds like a scam because it's just unbelievable since 2017. Mm. So when we meet in June, yeah. we are going to assess the situation and then the next line of action will be taken.